Prophecy Club, I've got a question for you. How are you going to die? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a scary one, isn't it? You know, we all have wondered that from time to time, but I'm going to make a statement, and I'm about to startle you. As a matter of fact, I'm about to bring some information in this broadcast that is going to startle you. It's startled me. This information is going to be some of the most startling information that I have given in my almost 20 years of being on the radio. <laughs> it's startling. So back to my question, how are you going to die? You know, the truth is we don't, most of us, exactly know. Now, Prophet Leslie was shown one of the ways that we might die. I won't get into that, but uh, I'm going to say that there's a high probability that most of you listening to my voice in your lifetime, you may die a martyr. Now, hey, that's not so bad because that's the highest crown that can be given. You get to stay with Jesus in his throne room. You get to sit on his throne. There's a If you read Revelation, there's a lot of benefits for being one that has given their life for the name of Jesus. I'm going to help you today in this broadcast to prepare for just exactly that, for just <laughs> something so shocking. I just ran across some information. I've been saying this for probably oh, four maybe years, maybe maybe five. I even made a DVD on it called DNA of the Mark of the Beast. And I have been saying that I believe that along with the Mark of the Beast, they're also going to offer you an injection. And I said that injection would change your DNA and it would offer you eternal life. Now, the reason I've been saying that is because we know that there's the scriptures in Revelation that says that there's going to come a crack in the earth, and then out of the crack is going to come locusts, and those locusts are going to have a tail like a scorpion, and they're going to sting men that do not have the mark of God on their foreheads for five months. And those people on the earth will desire to die, the Bible says, but they can't die. And then if you go over to Joel 2, 8, it says the soldiers that fight at the Battle of Armageddon is what it's basically talking about, will be able to fall on a sword and not be wounded. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean that they fall on the sword and it won't penetrate their skin? Or does that mean that they have some kind of a coating on their skin that will not penetrate? Or does it mean that it penetrates their body, but they pull the sword back out and they have instant healing? Now, granted, we do know that they are currently working. And by the way, anytime you know something uh, from the laboratories on the surface, understand that the laboratories underneath the surface are anywhere from 30 to 50 years ahead of what you and I know about. So when we hear that they're working on it, that means they've already got it, okay? But they've already been working. They've been telling. This is what they've been telling us, okay? Never mind what they haven't been telling us, but they've been telling us that they're now working with a way to put spider's web in with human skin to make human skin impregnable. Now, if the truth be known, that means they probably already have it. The second way means that the sword goes into the person, but they pull it out and they have instant healing. I believe it's instant healing because if you look into Revelation chapter 9, it says that they will desire to die, but they can't die. Death will flee from them. Now, to me, that says that they have instant healing. All right. <laughs> now, what are we talking about? And then I'm going to go to some of the most shocking information. I don't even know if I can read all the way through it in today's broadcast. I was absolutely floored when I got this sent to me in an email just yesterday. Floored by what I was reading. And this, brothers and sisters, this is not some newspaper article someplace where they are possibly doing it. It's even more sure than that. It's a stock offering. Now, what am I talking about? Before we get to the stock offering, i got to give you the scripture. Revelation 13, verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, that's the false prophet, had two horns like a lamb, spake as a dragon. He exercises all the power of the first beast, that's the Antichrist, before him and causeth the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast. In other words, this second beast says everybody's got to worship the first beast. In other words, the false prophet says everybody's got to worship the Antichrist, okay, whose deadly wound was healed. 
He doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from the heaven on the earth in the sight of men and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Well, who is it that follows after miracles, the political or the religious? Well, uh, the political doesn't follow after miracles. That's the religious. In other words, the false prophet is deceiving the world with these miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. In other words, the false prophet had the power to do these in the presence of the Antichrist, the political beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast. And I believe that image, and you are about to be shocked by what I'm about to tell you. I now have proof. I now have proof, I now have proof, okay, that what I've been telling you is right, exact, accurate, dead on, nail on the head, (laughs) spot on, what do you want to call it? It's right. Now listen to this, listen carefully, that they should make an image to the beast. Now why does the Bible call it an image? Okay, now I would love to be able to push F10 on my Bible program as I'm doing right now, and I would love to be able to highlight in there where it says image and it pull up and say clone, but it doesn't. Strong's reference number 1504 just says an image or a figure or a likeness, which means it is not the original. It's some kind of a copy. Well, another word for copy is clone. Again, this is going to be shocking, what I'm about to tell you. You have got to tell all of your friends, your pastor, everybody what I have just found. Wow. Okay, let me continue. So, he means the second guy, okay, the false prophet, had power to give life into the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, so this is a man-made something that speaks, and causes as many as would not worship the image of the beast, anybody that didn't worship the image of the beast should be killed. And, of course, then it goes into, if you don't worship him, you lose your head, you got to have the mark, name, and number, and all that sort of stuff. But the point I'm getting to today is there is an image. See, when the Antichrist goes in and sits on the Ark of the Covenant, which is a golden-covered chair, it's the throne of God here on earth, and inside are the Ten Commandments. When he sets on the Ark of the Covenant and he says, I am God, he requires them to stop animal sacrifice and to set up an image of the beast. I believe that image of the beast is going to be a clone, a flesh and blood representation of the Antichrist that will be linked in somehow with all accumulated knowledge for all time. And that's the reason it's going to say, look, We got this finally all figured out. It didn't work under the leadership of the Bible. It didn't work with no God in the time of chaos. So now we've got to have all the same God. And when you serve this God, you get this mark. And the benefit is when you get the mark, you also get the injection. The injection is going to change your DNA. It's going to give you eternal life for the first time in history, at least that we know of that the devil is going to be able to claim the same thing that Christ can claim, and that is, if you accept him, you have eternal life. And I can just hear the devil laughing in the high-pitched, fiendish voice, fiendish laugh. Listen to what I have to give to you today. This just came yesterday. Now, let me explain what this is. This is a stock offering. You lie in a stock offering. Okay, this is not a newspaper article that may or may not be correct. This is not an interview with some scientist that may or may not have this. You lie, buddy, in a stock offering, and the Federal Trade Commission will have handcuffs on you before the sun goes down. They will be beating down your door. I mean, when I talk about oil in Israel, I'm afraid. I watch every word I say. I make certain. I do not tell you that I can guarantee that I will ever have the money to drill a well in Israel, that I will ever hit oil in Israel, because if I do that, they will be slapping handcuffs on me. You cannot, listen, listen to what I'm saying. When it is a stock offering, you better make certain that it's the truth. And matter of fact, you better even understate it, okay? If that tire will give 100,000 miles of use, you better not say it's going to give 101. <laughs> you better say, well, it'll probably last 80,000, okay? I mean, you understate it because if you don't deliver in a stock offering, they will put you under the jail, okay? 
It's really, really serious. Now listen to what came to me in a stock offering. They are selling stock for this company. Listen, this is from what they wrote. Some are calling it blasphemy and sacrilege. Investors are calling it heaven on earth. And they're hoping for another 1,000% plus win. He goes on to say, I'm just going to read it, okay? Immortality achieved. Could this be the next and final step in human evolution? A California stem cell company with a history of technological breakthroughs and monster stock market gains. See, they're selling their stock, okay? That's why it gives us so much credibility. Okay, let me go on. Stock at Mark Gains is about to release the video below. Of course, I've watched the video, and it's only like three seconds. It's it's, it's complicated. Uh, Let me go on here. Undeniable proof that almost nothing on earth and under heaven is impossible. The profits occurring to investors in this company could be in the millions. Now, let me just say, I'm not selling this stock. I'm not even going to mention the name of the company. I could care less about their stock. If I had the money, if I knew the name of the company, I wouldn't invest in it. And I would tell, well, I would not recommend. I I can't tell you what to do, but I would not recommend it anyway. Now, go to the letter. Dear Reader, The video you're about to watch will ignite a fireball of controversy, possibly worldwide protests that could make the violence in the Islamic world over portrayals of Muhammad seem gentle in comparison. And I agree with them. Because it too has tremendous religious implications. Some will say it's blasphemous and sacrilegious that it discredits the importance and power of God. Therefore, you will remember today what you are doing, and where you are when you first viewed it. If you're old enough to recall where you were and what you were doing, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it goes on to like the assassination of JFK and downing of the Challenger and things like that. Let me jump on down. It says, how would you like to have a chance to live forever? That's right. The video documents a miracle of scientific discovery, proof that you, your spouse, and your children could accomplish what was previously thought impossible, what many in the world will believe is a violation of God's will, a chance to live forever and remain forever young. Yes, I'm talking about immortality, practical, real immortality. I realize this is a nearly unfathomable statement to comprehend, much less believe without seeing proof with your own eyes. Hence the video clip. But before you watch it, let me first quote a headline that appeared in the Los Angeles Times when early test results were revealed. We'll be right back after this message. The Prophecy Club had six exciting speakers which made 11 awesome DVDs in October. Shane Warren spoke on The Storm, Judgment, and Revival. Bill Federer did four, Change to Chains, Islamic Conquest, Past and Present, 32 Miracles in American History, and Origins of the Great Awakening. Bree Keaton did two, Go Rescue the Pygmies and Translations to Heaven. Maurice Scalar spoke on Revelations for the Midnight Hour. Daniel Dave spoke on, I saw the dollar dead. Michael Boldea did too. The suffering or the glory and dreams and visions from God. That's 11 new DVDs, most two to two and a half hours, valued at $330, all available for a gift of just $200. If you've already placed an order for one of the earlier gift offers, you may call in and add the extra gift and get your order upgraded to the full offer. That's 785 266 1112. You want to ask for the October gift offer. 11 DVDs, two to two and a half hours each, valued at $330, available for a gift of just $200. Call 785 266 1112 or go to prophecyclub.com. God is speaking to Augusto Perez with angel visits audibly and has given him 44 dreams and visions showing some amazing things about the future of America and the world available in book or DVD. Topics are the great shaking, the vision of three stars, the coming famine, the glory clouds, the double portion outpouring, the coming attack on the U.S., the great darkness, the super devaluation of the dollar, the appearance of a celestial body, and how God will protect his own book is Smile Jesus Love You, gift of $20. DVD is End of Times, gift of $30. Get both book and DVD for a gift of $45 at prophecyclub.com 
or call 785-266-1112. That's 785-266-1112 or prophecyclub.com. Augusto Perez, Smile Jesus Loves You, End of Times, both for a gift of 45, prophecyclub.com, 785-266-1112. Call or click now. And now, back to the program. Let me first quote a headline that appeared in the Los Angeles Times when early test results were revealed. Quote, Scientists give cell apparent immortality. Another newspaper wrote, quote, Firm finds foundation of youth for human cells. Its stock soars, unquote. And the Oakland Tribune wrote, Researchers immortalize human cells, unquote. That was then, of course, when the science, quote, was still for lack of a better word, immature and not ready to be commercialized. Accordingly, the hoopla and the market frenzy that surrounded the company quickly faded once the scientists returned to the laboratories, locked their doors to perfect what they had discovered. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN's chief medical correspondent and President Obama's nominee for Surgeon General in 2009 said, quote, I think in the next couple of decades, we're going to get to a point of practical immortality. Little did he realize how the decades could be compressed into a few short years. Today, the laboratory doors have swung open again. And now you'll see how far the science has evolved. So, please sit back, make yourself comfortable, and prepare to be amazed, excited, and quite dumbfounded, for no longer is eternal life, lasting life, a religious parable, an impossible dream, the stuff of fantasy, science fiction, or Greek mythology. The fountain of youth has indeed been found. Again, brothers and sisters, this is an initial stock offering. You don't say this if it's not true, okay? And it has been found in the most unlikely of places, he goes on to say, within us. This biotech company has deciphered not only the genetic code that stops and then reverses aging, It is also patented a technology enabling it to flip a genetic switch within our DNA, the so-called God switch, which makes human cells everlasting. They do not die, will not die. Indeed, it appears that every time the God switch is flipped, it returns the aged, tired, worn-out cells of your body to the biologically pristine state they were on day one, the day you were born. Again, this is not me saying it. I'm reading from their article, okay? This is big. Brothers and sisters, this is saying that all of this Mark of the Beast stuff, all of this injection stuff, I said in my DVD called DNA and the Mark of the Beast, I was right on, even though I made it several years ago. Now, let's go back to the article. The prophet's that could accrue to this company and to you if you invest in this company. And that goes on, they're trying to get you to invest it, okay? Let me jump down here. As you will see, to flip the God switch, no foreign or unnatural substance is used or introduced into the body. Indeed, the remarkable thing about stem cell therapeutics is that it doesn't require the invention of new drugs with unknown side effects. Products and therapies could free us from every disease and affliction that plagues or kills us. He goes on to say, in fact, the owner of the company, who is also its lead scientist, is often referred to as the father of regenerative medicine. His area of focus is stem cell therapeutics. Unlike the other cells in your body, skin cells, heart cells, brain cells, stem cells are for the most part blanks. In scientific terms, they're unpotentiated. In other words, their fate has not been determined. They're waiting to be programmed by your DNA to become heart cells, skin cells, bone cells, and all the other thousands of types of cells in your body. And that ability to be programmed can now be directed and manipulated in this company's laboratory. This is a miraculous breakthrough. Once it was only theoretically possible, today It's not only possible, it's actually being done. So, how would you like to have a pair of new lungs, new kidneys, 20-20 vision, baby smooth skin, and the joints of a teenager all without surgery? Welcome then to our brave new world. A world that, until today, existed only in science fiction. Now, let me just jump aside from the article. 
Guys, this is exactly what I said in my DVD, DNA and the Mark of the Beast. Matter of fact, I'm going to recommend you get two DVDs. One is DNA of the Mark of the Beast and also my brand new DVD. I just made four DVDs called Daniel Verse by Verse. And the reason I call it Daniel Verse by Verse is because I go through every verse in Daniel. Most people agree it is the most difficult book in the Bible to understand. But it also has the keys to understanding most of the rest of the prophecies. If you get Daniel down, you'll understand Revelation and most of the rest of the prophecies so much better. But if you don't have Daniel, (laughs) forget it. you got to have Daniel. And Daniel won't play good on the radio. I can't sit there and go through step by step. I can't play it on the radio. It's A, it's too complicated. you got to have graphs and charts and pictures and And I'll even say it's too complicated to go through just one time. The people that just listen to me, which is why I'm still hoarse even to this day, because I taught all day long Saturday on it, it it's just too deep. you got to sit there, DVD, Bible in your lap, going through it, and you'll probably have to go through it two or three, maybe even four times before you really get it down. And then you'll need to have a revelation verse by verse. Uh, Look, learning Bible prophecy is not something you can just learn in one year. I mean, it's like a college education to be able to understand Bible prophecy. It takes years and years of study, and even then, it's not discerned physically. It's discerned spiritually. Have you ever memorized a scripture and didn't understand it until sometime later? Of course, we all have. And that's the way it is with Bible prophecy. You study it. You read it. You read it. You study it. You think you got the understanding, and then you run across something else two years down the road, and you think, oh, man, that changes everything. Well, (laughs) I've already been through those, oh, that changes everything moments a whole lot, and hopefully my 20 years of teaching Bible prophecy and doing a radio program and all these guests we've had, some 150 guests, hopefully I can bring some understanding to you that you could not glean on your own. And let me also say, one of the advantages of getting the teaching from me, if I may be humble in saying this, is because I have to line up with the prophets and their teaching. In other words, If I were to think that, for example, that the Catholic Church was not mentioned any place in Bible prophecy, and I'm going along thinking this, maybe I'm going along even teaching that, maybe I even make some notes in my Bible, I haven't, but I mean, if I had, and then all of a sudden, I listen to the angel that speaks to Demetri Dudeman, and the angel specifically says that the beast is the Pope. Then all of a sudden, hold it, time out, time out, back up. (laughs) i got to rearrange my charts. You see, I make certain that all of my understanding of Bible prophecy lines up with what God is saying is coming. And if it doesn't line up with what God's saying, then I've misunderstood something. Now, that's the reason I recommend you get Daniel verse by verse and also DNA of the Mark of the Beast. Those two videos are just awesome. Now, let me go back to this talking about Eternal life. Now, in case you just tuned in the broadcast, these guys are now claiming it's not in the test tube anymore. It is now in the injection needle. You can soon be getting an injection in your body that will change your DNA and give you eternal life. Now, I know you probably blinked. You probably put your finger in your ear and moved it around real quickly and said, huh, you want to say that again? Let me say it again. I'm not stuttering. I'm not backing up. I'm looking. That came to me in an email, an initial public stock offering. You lie in a stock offering, and they will put handcuffs on you. This has to be true, okay? And they're saying that they now have the injection, okay? They are selling stock, early stock offerings of the company. They are believing that they are going to make a, now I don't, I'm not even going to mention the name of the company because I'm not trying to sell. Let me make that absolutely positively, perfectly clear. I'm not selling this stock. Uh, as a matter of fact, I wouldn't even recommend you get involved in it, even though prophetically we know that it's coming. If I knew that there was a chip that was going to be a Mark of the Beast chip, I wouldn't give it a a penny of my money because I wouldn't want to back it. That's backing the devil's plans, okay? So I'm certainly not selling it. Now, back to what it says. Imagine stem cells that can be programmed to replace aged, damaged, or diseased hearts, brains, and lungs, and even limbs, joints, and skin. That's right. Now, let me just jump aside from the article again. How many people would stand in line, 
How many people would write checks for thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of dollars if they could get an injection and give them just one new body part? If they were to say, no, no, you, you can only get one new body part. How many people would give over $100,000 to have a new heart? How about a new brain? Let's say they had brain cancer, okay? It's really important. Let me, let me go into the article. We're running out of time here. Banned, justly or unjustly, during the Bush administration because of the moral and political outrage embryonic stem cells removed from discarded embryos had created. It was a catastrophic blow to the entire industry. At the time, it was believed only embryonic stem cells could cure the tens of millions of people suffering from devastating and deadly diseases such as heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. Fortunately, I run out of time this particular broadcast. I plan to continue this in the next broadcast. Brothers and sisters, this is real important. And Bible prophecy is real important for you to understand. Look, when the bombs hit and the whole sky is filled with all kinds of dust and radioactive particles, that's not the time for you to decide, oh, I think I might want to learn about Bible prophecy. <laughs> You're going to be concerned with just surviving day to day. You got to hide the word in your heart. Now, before the trouble hits, you've got to spend the days and the evenings, I'll even say, now reading and studying Bible prophecy and learning for yourself. Hide the word in your heart so that you will not sin against him, so that you will know the things to do and the ways to react when all of these things that are coming do come to pass. May I suggest strongly that you get Daniel verse by verse and also DNA of the Mark of the Beast. Now, they're both available on the website, prophecyclub.com, or by calling 785-266-1112. In the meantime, I'll continue this in the next broadcast. Thank you for listening, and thank you for your prayers and your gifts of support. God bless. Now from the Prophecy Club, some exciting opportunities for you. I just made my new four DVD set, Daniel Verse by Verse version 2.0, with lots of new material. You're going to love it. I used over 400 slides, 350 pictures, 53 maps, 18 charts, perhaps for the first time in your life, you'll begin to understand Daniel. I answer some tough questions like, have the sorrows begun? Is the tribulation three and a half years or seven? Who are the last six world governments? What bloodline, empire, region does the Antichrist come from? And how to recognize the Antichrist? What does the Antichrist do to gain control? Who is the leopard in prophecy? And what three prophecies still must be fulfilled before Jesus can return. Daniel verse by verse version 2.0, 8 hours, 4 DVDs, gift of $75, or you can upgrade from 1.0 for a gift of $30 or more. Prophecyclub.com, call 785-266-1112. The next speaker at the Prophecy Club is Doug Metzger, speaking on Will You Survive America's Fall? At the age of 19, Doug had a very radical salvation, and immediately God began to show him visions. He'll speak on visions of coming events and America's demise. Doug was shown unspeakable torment is coming to turn America back to God. Topics will be America the Fallen Tree, 10 to 1 inflation dollar became worthless, vision of how the church was formed in America, Visions of the end of America. Vision of a nuclear missile. Twelve cities destroyed. A million voices screaming at once. Vision of the begging woman. The great betrayal. They ran to Jesus. Prayer is protection. The greatest horror and revival. DVD gift of $30. Doug will be speaking Saturday, February 9th at the Prophecy Club. 2540 Avenue K in Plano. Corner of Park and K behind the Whataburger. Doors at 6. Speaking from 7 to 1030. Gift of $10 at the door. See you there.